BP's regional president has hit back at critics who bashed his and other multinational companies. He says it's unhelpful, unproductive, and only serves to foster a negative environment for firms operating here. Norman Christie spoke at the American Chamber's annual general meeting. Here's our energy and business reporter, Roger Dwarka, with this report. There are many pockets of unhelpful discord that I believe work against growth and against prosperity. That's where the BP president began the real message of his speech at the AMCHA meeting, making it clear that bashing, as he put it, of multinational companies here helps no one, especially in a downturn. There are some who would have us believe that multinationals do not have the country's best interest at heart, or that much of the value we create is moved out of the country. In BP's 55 years of operations in Trinidad and Tobago, our upstream business alone has generated over 50 billion U.S. dollars or over 300 billion TT dollars of operating cash flow. Out of that, BPTT has paid approximately 50% to the government in taxes and royalties. In April, BP Global had announced an operating profit of some $532 million, surprising international analysts. Locally, earlier this year though, BPTT had announced it was offering VSEP to some of its workforce, but continuing with the Juniper project and ultra-deep water and land-based projects. But Mr. Christie sought to put it on record, the misconception of taxation. The sensational stories about decreased taxes due to changed fiscal incentives and 100% one-year write-offs for projects such as Juniper have no basis in reality. Even if the tax codes had not been changed two years ago, we would still have the same reduction in taxes because of deeply depressed prices and reduced production. BPTT said it's also writing off development spending over three years and not one, as had been reported in some media outlets. The BP president also told Amcham the problems of bashing multinationals was only one area of what he referred to as unhelpful discord, and this distraction of unnecessary fighting is obscuring the fact that other countries are making good use of the downturn to improve their competitiveness. Roger Dworaker, C News.